Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central, and I wanted to take a look at the OnLive app for Android that came out not too long ago. If you're not familiar with OnLive, it's a service that lets you sign up for a free account and then you can buy games uh, for typically full price. And what OnLive does is they will stream the gameplay to your device, uh, computer, in this case now Android tablet or Android phone, on their hardware so you don't ever have to worry about hardware limitations. Uh, looking at the tablet right now, this is the OnLive Android app. Uh, as it is, you see that there are nine uh, rectangles that you can choose from, Arena Showcase, Last Played, Profile, Marketplace, My Games Friends, Brag Clips, and then the OnLive logo, and then at the bottom is Messages. Now if you hit the OnLive logo, it takes you to kind of a settings menu. Uh, you can see that there's a, a service menu, there's also a quick launch for games that you own and want to launch quickly. Uh, very fully detailed, more typical settings menu, audio, video, notifications, things like that. And the very left one is the about menu, so just some legal stuff about the app. Uh, far right is messages. I don't have any friends on my friends list right now. You can also access messages by pressing the messages button. That's at the bottom of the screen. Um, there's also some other things. Brag clips on live lets you do in-game recording if you so choose and you can record a little video clip of your gameplay to your account but I want to hop into the games to show you guys just how it works you notice as it loads you're gonna need a pretty strong internet connection to fully take advantage of this but there's a banner at the top of the screen and if we can let's see let's just do defense grid gold uh, defense grid gold is a tower defense game that's purely touch uh, based we'll do a free trial here and why that's significant is because there are certain games that you can play with touch. Uh, in this case, this is all just point and tap, similar to another tower defense game that you might play in the Android market. But some other games like uh, Lego Batman, Lego Harry Potter, things like that, they have got a full virtual joystick, virtual button set. And I'll show you the Lego Batman in a second, just so you can see uh, how it's on the one hand fairly functional but can get kind of muddled and kind of busy at the same time. Touch. I guess this is a perfect example of how uh, there's some lag or there's a potential for lag in between what you're doing on the screen and what the server is actually recognizing because you can see I've tapped the screen four or five times and only now did we get it to advance uh, so let's play and let's do that So this is on live uh, in its glory. Now this is a, a very nicely, you know, console quality tower defense game. Uh, typical stuff: set towers up, stop things from taking the power cores that are located here. On the top left corner of the screen, you'll see that there's a, a small button that actually lets you turn off the on live user interface. Uh, at the bottom, you've got the on live button and a record button. That's not very significant in this tower defense game, but in a game like Lego Batman, you'll see that it actually gets, it can be uh, helpful if you want to clear up what's on the screen. Uh, so, you know, just uh, putting some towers down, things like that. I haven't actually really uh, gotten very intimate with this game. And if the wave would start. There we go. A uh, little unfortunate thing about this tower defense game in particular, and it's not technically an Android game, but to have the double fast speed, you have to hold the button, which is kind of a pain. But you'll see that these, uh, these little drones run around, they steal the power cores, and then they try and run away with them. So at any point, I can put more towers down and try and stop them but you'll notice that aside from the issues that we had at the beginning of the game where the screen wasn't responding this runs fairly well and on a 10 inch screen and I imagine on a 7 inch as well it's gotta look great uh, I do have a couple of concerns about how it looks on a mobile phone screen but again those might be my own personal worries so I'll re-enable 
the on live stuff and we'll exit this game and hop into Lego Batman real quick just so you can see what it looks like when there is a when there's a virtual joystick on the screen see now we've got on the left hand a move joystick, a look joystick, all virtual, change character, attack, uh, jump, and grapple buttons. And we can turn all these off as well. You can also uh, type in messages with this keyboard button at the bottom, uh, start button right there, and record button. So let's see if we can jump straight into the game real quick. And lots of cinematics. Yeah, it's very nice. There we go. After many cinematics, we're finally into the game now. Uh, you can see controls are fairly tight, but later on uh, in the level, there's just a little bit of depth issues that are associated with the virtual joysticks and not being able to use a physical controller. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned yet that there is a physical controller that you can buy from OnLive for $50 and it essentially looks like your stock USB port wireless controller but apparently it's been tested with a number of tablets like the Toshiba Thrive and the Acer Iconia things like that what am I looking for ah oh, there we go And so that's an opportunity to uh, to not have to worry about using the physical joystick. Also, there's a number of games that you need the controller to play uh, that won't. That if you try and open them, even on a free trial, they'll say something like, uh, you know, physical controller, blah blah blah. You know, you can't. They're not touch enabled, and that is also kind of a drag too, because I tested my own Xbox 360 controller with it via the USB port, and it didn't respond which means uh, if you want to play and no other controllers work then you've got to fork out 50 bucks for the OnLive controller. Uh, this is getting a bit lengthy but you can see uh, graphics are good, controls are fairly tight and that is in a nutshell the OnLive app for Android.